before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order when we are successful, and we will be. There is a chance for the President of the United States to use this disaster to carry out what his father, a phrase his father used, and that is a new world order. The United States is in a key position to shape this so that the problem of the Bush presidency will be the emergence of a new international order. The President George Bush has talked time and time again about the new world order. I realize, realizes what I believe is our destiny of success in this new world order. Well, there have been extraordinary scenes in Berlin tonight as thousands of people gathered to hear Barack Obama deliver key foreign policy speech on his current European tour. The Democratic presidential hopeful laid out his vision for America's place in a new world order. In this new world, no one nation, no matter how large or powerful, can defeat such challenges alone. But the burdens of global citizenship continue to bind us together. Partnership and cooperation among nations is not a choice. It is the only way. There is a global meltdown coming. It is a global depression. And one world currency and one world financial system is the end game. China said last week they want one global currency. France said yesterday or the day before that they want one world order, a new world order, at the end of this event. security, financial, and health care applications.